All right, good Wednesday. Yeah, okay, that sounds good. Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a beautiful morning. We've got some great sunrise shots coming up here for you in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. But as of right now, things are, again, very nice out there and should be staying that way uh, into the course of the rest of the day today. So if you have any plans for outdoors, yes, go ahead and keep them. But we, again, continue to see uh, the possibility of a few more showers and thunderstorms out there as well. So that could be a bit of a problem into the rest of the day today. So that, again, is going to be the main thing to look out for. It's also going to be a little bit on the, again, warm and humid side throughout the rest of the day. So if you have any plans uh, for outdoors, this could be something to worry about for uh, marching band practice, football practice out there. Again, this could be something to take a look at if you're going to be doing anything with the kids outside today after school. Uh, again, something to look at for right now uh, in the way of safety's sake. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything outdoors for today. Coming up in just a little bit, we'll take a look at the tropics and we'll also see again that we do have again the possibility of some nicer weather heading our way, at least finally, but it's going to take a little while before we get uh, to that coming up our direction. We'll talk about that here in just a little while. Give me a second and we'll get all of our Facebook friends and viewers in here looking on here as well. If you have questions about what's going on, again, uh, forecast information in the blue bar here, social media information below that in the red bar, and if you have questions about the forecast, Forecast, please say so. We'll be glad to answer what we can and help you understand more about what's going on out there uh, where it comes to your weather. And again, all available here at WRAG.com slash weather. little hazy out there this morning. Again, some patchy fog across portions of the Mid-South, but beyond that, we don't really have a lot going on so far. Maybe seeing some patchy, dense fog uh, lingering into just past sunrise, but that's going to be about it. Radar at this point, just not seeing too much of anything across the area uh, as of right now, but more chances of showers and thunderstorms will be coming our way a little bit later on today, and that's mainly going to be over portions of northern areas of Mississippi, the Tennessee River Valley, and eastern parts of Arkansas, although some of that could wander into around north of I-40 for later on today. But as of right now, once again, we're just not really seeing all that much for the time being, but that could change, so keep the umbrella handy just in case, and those windshield wipers might be a good idea to get those updated as well. Currently in the Mid-South area, we've got a lot of humidity out there, thanks to in part to all this very moisture-rich air sitting in place over the Mississippi Valley. But back to the north, that brown that you see on earth.nullschool.net, that is going to be, again, dropping our direction. Winds will be coming in out of the northeast later on tonight, and that means that dry air finally is going to be making its way into the Mid-South. Yeah, I know, taking long enough, so it's going to be a little bit before we get uh, anything in here in the way of very comfortable weather, but that's going to be happening, just taking a little bit longer. Maria is now a tropical storm. Winds are down to 70 miles per hour, so it's a minimal tropical storm at this time. No, no longer a hurricane, but it is sending a lot of very heavy amounts of waves on shore to around the coast of the Outer Banks of the Carolinas. And this thing is going to catch a wave of energy in the atmosphere. This thing is going to rocket out into the Atlantic as a tropical storm and is no longer going to be a threat for us. It's going to be heading away from the United States and eventually will follow the path of Hurricane Lee. It's going to be making its way out that same direction heading into the North Atlantic. So we just do not have a lot going on here with the hurricanes and fortunately not that much developing back out into the Atlantic at this time which is definitely good news because as of right now, you have to have a pretty conducive atmosphere for the development of these showers and thunderstorms to develop into hurricanes. Lots of dust coming in from off of the area of the Sahara, and that's helping to kind of quash anything in the way of tropical storm development. We've got, again, a cold front dropping its way on through the area. It's a weak one. There's hardly any moisture with it for showers and thunderstorms, but there will be the potential of that throughout the rest of the day today. Just not seeing anything in the way of major problems with the seven-day hazardous weather outlook from the National Weather Weather Service not showing a lot of anything going on anytime soon. For the rest of the day today, again, temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s. Low temperatures into tonight will be dropping a little bit lower to mid 60s as we head into the 
early day of tomorrow. Not quite as hot, mid to upper 70s to lower 80s. Friday looks excellent. Temperatures also back in the lower to mid 70s or lower to mid 80s to mid to upper 70s, so quite comfortable there. And the weekend also looking good. Saturday and Sunday, outdoor plans keep them. Temperatures both days in the high 70s to round about the lower 80s, so looking very good across much of the Mid-South for later on. If you have the opportunity, uh, hopefully you had the opportunity if you were in Oxford last night to take the Skywarn training schedule uh, to find out more about severe weather. The next meeting will be coming up in Marks, Mississippi tomorrow. That's Thursday at 6.30 p.m. If you'd like to know more about this, where to get the information about becoming a Skywarn spotter, join me on my Facebook page. Remember, it's Banned Books Week, so find out more about what's going on there. My Twitter page at twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. Also on Instagram at aonic no underscore necessary wreg3. And also live right now on Periscope if you'd like to tune in and find out more about what's going on there at this time. Seven-day forecast available at wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to find out more. i got to hop back out on set for the latest edition of News Channel 3 Daybreak. So thanks for joining us for this quick weather update online. And stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day. And we'll keep you informed.